Hey, it's Justin's Tech, and this is part two of how to use the AMPRO2 software, where I'm gonna teach you how to create macros and answer your questions from part one. Before this video starts, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications because I'll be uploading new videos every week. So make sure you click that bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Also follow me on Twitter at JustinTechTV. I'll be posting a lot of updates there. And if you want to message me, that's probably the best place to contact me directly. And before you watch this video, you should probably go watch part one because that goes through the whole software completely. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create macros and just answer some of your questions. So first off, some of the questions you guys asked um, aren't possible to do in the app um, and the software yet. So I'm just going to go through those right now. So there's actually no way you can make the LEDs go faster or slower. Um, I know they should add that. I don't know why it's not in there. It'd be a big feature. I don't know. They can probably do that with the firmware update, but people have been asking that since the software came out and the Ampro 2 came out and they still haven't fixed it. So maybe they won't and they're just saving it for the next uh, and Pro 2 if they end up coming out with that, the Ampro 3. Also, a lot of people think that you can get viruses from the app, um, but it's downloaded right from the company that produces the Ampro 2. So there's no viruses. I don't know um, how you're getting viruses, but it's not from the app. I can tell you that right now. Also, I got a question asking if you need to download the software to change the lighting. And the answer to that is no. Um, all you have to do is press function two and nine and you can change the lighting pretty easily from there. And another person asked if you can change the caps locks color because by default it is red. And again, the answer to that is no. Uh, the Ampro 2 doesn't really have the best software like I said, so that's why I made that video. And you can't uh, change the color, which would be a nice feature as well. It's stuck at red. So if you have your keyboard at red, there's no way of telling if you have caps lock on or off. Um, yeah, it's not really too big of a deal for me, but some people have been asking. So yeah, that's the answer to that. Okay, now I'm just gonna hop over to my computer and show you how to create macros on the software. So if you haven't already, make sure you go and download the Obens Kit software from the link in the description. Like I said, you will not get viruses from it. It is from the Anpro2 manufacturer's website, so there is no way to get viruses from it. So once you have it downloaded, it should look like this once you open it. Just click on the Anpro2 here, and then to record the macros, you go down to this thing. It says macro. Then once you're here, um, you click on the library thing. You press plus for a new. If I can get that and then you click new macro right here and then you will just uh, right click on that and then you hit edit and then you click record right here and like say if you're creating one for counter-strike it's like a bunch of B B random numbers and they'll probably buy something random Then you just click stop and then you go back then you click on the key that you want to assign it to so for this one I'll do like a random key like We'll go like the question mark key or whatever and then you right click on that or sorry and then you right click on the new macro and then you click bind to key and then you'll click download once you have that set once you have it downloaded and now the macro will do it so yes you have the macro set so to use the macro you just hold the function 2 button and then click the key that you binded your macro to and then it should work flawlessly um, no matter what you're doing if you're using counter-strike or anything like that and yeah that's all for this video so don't forget to subscribe comment like and turn on that post notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video and i'll see you guys next time